What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making some homemade mapo tofu. got this recipe on madewithlao.com. This was requested by Corn Oil, username Corn Oil. So thank you so much for this request. Um, you also recommended this website as well, madewithlao.com. So I'm excited to use his recipe. I went ahead and screenshotted all of the ingredients. Um, and those will be in the description box below for you guys. I went ahead and prepped a lot of the ingredients already. I minced up the chicken. I'm going to be doing the uh, mapo tofu with the mapo tofu with chicken. I went ahead and minced up the, the chicken and it's been marinating for a few minutes and some oyster sauce, water, and cornstarch as well. So um, that's in the fridge. Cut up some tofu, pressed it, and um, that's in the fridge as well. I'm going to go ahead and prep a few more ingredients with you guys. Some dark soy sauce. I have some sesame oil. Bought some more sesame oil because I ran out. Uh, sesame oil and then there's usually a little tab yeah little tab there we are it smells so good <laughs> love sesame oil and then also you're gonna need some bean sauce and um yeah some dark soy sauce oyster sauce so I'll go ahead and prep some of the ingredients with you guys let me just show you guys the process here okay so I already have some sugar because um, sugar is in the recipe, so I already prepped some sugar. And I'm just going to put uh, some salt, about half a teaspoon of sea salt. That's good. Have our sugar and our salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep some dark soy sauce. We need about half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. So it uh, stains really easily. As you can see, that's <laughs> it's already making a mess here. Got to be careful. So some dark soy sauce perfect and then oyster sauce about one tablespoon of oyster sauce perfect put this guy to the side and then we also need um, a heaping tablespoon of this uh, chili chili bean sauce that's perfect okay Go ahead and turn this guy off here. Oh, it's glitching. My camera was glitching. Oh, put this in the sink over here. We have our soy sauce. And then this is going to be used at the end. We're gonna drizzle this in the um, tofu. We have our oyster. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these over here to the side really quick. And then you're gonna need a combination of um, cornstarch and water. It was like one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of water mixed together. That's um, for the end for us to thicken our um, our dish. So I have that on the side as well. Um, but yeah, and I'll go ahead and just leave the salt out just in case we need to sprinkle a little bit more, but should be good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge. I'm going to grab the tofu and the chicken. And the chicken, like I said, has been marinating in the oyster sauce and water and cornstarch as well so i'm gonna go grab that out of the fridge i also prepped some garlic and a little bit of green onions as well and uh two chili peppers and grab our um protein and stuff and then tofu green onion close that up and don't need to refrigerate this, so put this guy down here. In my little uh, box of oils. <laughs> so yeah. So as you guys can, as you guys can see, I have some tofu, some cubed tofu. And the recipe said you can use any um, firmness of tofu that you prefer. I just chose extra firm tofu. Um, so yeah, and then have some green onions here for garnish and then here's our chicken it's been marinating I just minced up some chicken chicken here with oyster sauce so yeah first thing we're gonna do is add some oil to a large skillet or wok I do have a wok but um, I don't know where I have it actually so I'm just gonna be using a large skillet um, and I'm going to be heating up about a tablespoon of oil on the skillet on a medium-high heat and I'm just going to cook up our chicken and then we can um, cook up our chilies, garlic, and we can go ahead and add the remaining ingredients as well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit and then we can go ahead and get started by cooking our, our chicken. So yeah, put these over here to the side. Okay guys, so I went ahead and turned on the stove to a medium high heat. And as you can see, I have a large skillet right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of, I'm gonna use my light sesame oil to cook our chicken. So I'm gonna use this. And then, um, then I'm going to uh, add the chicken to the skillet once it's nice and hot, cook that up. And once again, then we can go ahead and add the garlic, chili, pepper, and then the remaining ingredients as well. I thought I had a cup, oh, I forgot I already had a cup of water prepped because we're gonna need that as well. Um, so yeah, gonna go ahead and add some sesame oil, about a tablespoon of sesame oil. So, take the lid off here. Add a little, let's see, just a little, uh, a little splash. <laughs> tablespoon in here. That is good. And then let that get nice and hot. And then we will add our chicken. So we can put that up. Okay. Yeah, and here's my pressed tofu. We just cut it into thick cubes here. <laughs> nice thick cubes. Put my camera over here so I can show you guys the process of our cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and disperse the oil all around the pan here. Turn heat down to about a medium high heat. Minced chicken here. That is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and reread the instructions. He said that we're gonna leave it there. We're not gonna mix the chicken around as it cooks, so. All right, then turn the heat down just a tad. Mix this around. Gonna let this cook for a few more minutes. because it's like splattering everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna let the chicken cook for a few more minutes. It's still really raw, so I'm gonna let it cook for a few more minutes and then I will add our garlic and chili. I also made some rice that just popped up. It's done cooking. Made some jasmine rice to pair it with, so. All right guys, gonna go ahead and mix up this chicken. garlic and chilies, and then I also have a little bit of the white parts of the green onion. Put that up, bean sauce here. Water, ketchup sauce, and soy sauce, sugar and salt. I'm gonna add our tofu. And we're gonna let this boil for about two to three minutes. And then we can go ahead and add our cornstarch and our sesame oil as well. But just gonna let this boil for a few minutes. All right guys, it's been about three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up just a tad. It smells delicious. Gonna go ahead and add our cornstarch in water, get it nice and thick. And I'm actually gonna turn off the heat now. Go ahead and drizzle some delicious sesame oil, about a teaspoon. Yum. Go ahead and mix this up. Okay guys, so here's our mapo tofu with chicken. I just garnished it with some green onions and jasmine rice, it smells so good. So, so excited to try. Super hot. <laughs> Mm. 
That is delicious. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've never had this before. So, hopefully I did good for my first time. <laughs> but it is delicious. Savory, a um, little bit spicy. Mm. I need a napkin. Hmm. I always forget that. Napkin. To drink, I have this liquid death. <laughs> it's water. Sparkling water. It's um, bury it alive. So I'm sure it's a berry flavor sparkling water. Murder your thirst. Uh, cool packaging. <laughs> sparkling water. Cheers. That's good. Very good, very refreshing. And that berry flavor is very strong. Delicious. I've had this one time, just like the regular water, but I like the berry flavor a lot. This ruthless tall boy of flavored sparkling water has a twisted plan to use natural agave and exploding bubbles to murder your thirst and recycle your soul. Wow. So, agave's in here. That's pretty cool. Really good. And I am really thirsty and that's Really helpful. <laughs> Very refreshing. <clears throat> yeah, I really like the chicken pieces in here. With the tofu, it's so good. Very uh, comforting food. Which is some jasmine rice. Delicious. So delicious. Mapo tofu. Camera turned off, but I'm gonna add some more green onion. Have that right here. I love green onions. green onion. Now this is so good, especially that sesame oil, oh my word. Mm. Very flavorful.
so good. Liquid death. <clears throat> Gonna drink some more. Berry flavor is like really strong. You know how some sparkling water, it's like just a hint of flavor. If you get like strawberry or whatever flavor you like. But this flavor is strong. That berry flavor. Filled it. Empty. Empty can. Guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much, Corn Oil, for this request and also for the uh, website recommendation. Um, the um, gentleman's YouTube channel, I subscribe to his channel. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.